if you're looking to make a move on a woman that you're interested in, you like her, you find her attractive, but you're scared to get her phone number, ask her on a date, and just make a move. Well, here's what's going to happen. Right now, you're in the pre-dating phase where she does have interest in you. She does like you, but she's waiting for you to take the first step. Why? Because she needs to know right away if you have the confidence, if you're a masculine man, if you are sure of yourself. Because if you miss that window of opportunity, she's going to move on to the next man. This is what they call the pre-dating phase, where for a period of time, she's interested in you, but she could change her mind at any moment. Why? Because she doesn't want to wait around. And if you're doing nothing, what that signals to her is that you don't have confidence, that you're not a masculine man, that you don't take charge of things, and you're not really a leader. And that's why she wants you to go ahead and ask her out, get her phone number. And if you do these things correctly, then what you're saying is that I have confidence, that I am a masculine man, that I know what I want out of life. And she's going to be attracted to your behaviors. And if you back away, if you do nothing at all, she's going to forget about you. She gave you a, a window of opportunity. You just didn't seize the moment. Now, when you make your move, you don't have to spill your guts. You don't have to just share everything about you in that moment and how you feel about her. That's a little too much. Take it slow. Breathe. Because if you share too much information, you communicate a sense of neediness, that you're very insecure as a man, and you're uncertain about yourself. But if you go into those conversations relaxed, calm, and confident, and that you know what you want, you have a good direction of the conversation, you keep it casual, you don't talk about future commitments like marriage or children, none of those things. You're just getting to know the person. She's going to like you a lot. Most important part is to just stay in the moment. Don't put pressure on yourself because if you're working yourself up and you're nervous and you don't know what to do next, then she's going to notice that energy. And then she's going to realize this guy is stressed. It seems like he's unsure. What she needs from you is a leader, somebody who takes control, somebody who doesn't back down, and somebody she can trust and rely on because women don't want to feel like you're insecure. They need somebody who they can feel secure around. And if you don't have that energy, when you're having that interaction, you're making your move, then she's just going to move on to the next guy. So it's important when you first have that conversation, it's not awkward for you. You take it easy. You don't overwhelm her and you just keep it moving. Don't be weird. Just say, you know what? I'm just going to talk to her. I'm going to have a simple conversation. And that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. And when it comes to mask of the men, you have to have the energy of, you know what, I'm going to make this move. I'm going to be fearless. I'm just going to be myself and see what happens. When you have that mentality going into the conversation and you let everything flow naturally, she's going to stick around. If you do nothing at all and she recognizes this, she is going to lose interest because you're communicating a message of, I'm unsure of myself. I'm not really a strong man. And she's going to be turned off and go to the next man who's ready to talk to her. They will signal signs that they're interested, but you still have to take the first step. So don't be afraid. Make your move, and you won't regret it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I'd love to hear your thoughts on whether you made a move or didn't make a move on a woman and what was the result of that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.